Hello, I'm Nick Crawley. Welcome to the uh, Bible for Life pod ministry. And this month we're looking at the book of Exodus. Uh, Exodus is the second book in the Bible and it's the second book of the Pentateuch, Pentateuch uh, the first five books which the Jews refer to as the uh, Torah. Now Exodus is a fantastic uh, book. It's an epic story and it describes uh, how a, a major transition in God's dealings with his people. The first book of the Bible, Genesis, tells the story of God's dealings uh, with uh, humanity and starts, uh, he starts with a man called Abraham with whom he forms a covenant and makes promises and uh, that uh, Abraham's family grows and, uh, and the book finishes with them in Egypt. The book of Exodus takes up that story several hundred years later, uh, but the situation has changed dramatically. They are now in slavery in Egypt, and Exodus tells the story of how they come out of Egypt into the desert in the Sinai, Prince, uh, 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 desert, uh, Sinai Peninsula. It's a story of how they move from uh, slavery in Egypt to freedom in the desert. It's a story of how they are being forced uh, to build uh, buildings for Pharaoh and they're delivered dramatically from that to a place and a situation where they are willingly and freely building a tabernacle to worship in which to, they can worship uh, God, Yahweh. So there's a geographical um, uh, change and there is a change in the whole identity of the people and becoming a nation and there is a profound spiritual change going on in these chapters. There are 40 chapters but it is essentially the story of uh, Moses. Moses is the lead character throughout and he is the man um, whom God deals with to engineer uh, and to lead his people through these uh, dramatic um, uh, changes. So we should understand the book to have been originally uh, written by Moses, although it's clear that there's some redaction and development that has taken place uh, since then. Uh, the, in terms of date, it's, it's not easy to get the date uh, um, precise. Uh, the dating tends to be either around about 1500 BC or possibly later around 1250 BC. Uh, it's, we, we don't know for, for certain. And my suggestion is that uh, when you come to Exodus, the first thing to do is to skim read it. It's a very complicated book. It's got lots of sections, some of which are extremely dramatic. Other are, are, are frankly, really hard work. So take a, a translation like uh, the uh, New International Version or possibly the English Standard Version, uh, which has section headings and get a feel for the whole picture. You might want to make some notes and, uh, and just make your own notes and see, see the developments of the whole book. And this will be an enormously helpful uh, in terms of uh, the next stage, which is getting into it, which I'll address in the next video.